So this is our little half scale dummy, which is very cute. Um, we're going to do today a, um, a bishop sleeve, which this is uh, like full in the, at the wrist. Um, and you can see there's no shoulder seam, but we have these raglan lines. So we're actually basing it on a raglan pattern. And also too in the front, we've got rid of the, the bust darts and we've turned the bust darts into gather. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So this is the block that we're using. This is our fitted raglan block. So it has this line here, which is the raglan line, goes from the underarm up into the neckline. Um, it also has a seam that goes over the shoulder and then down the edge of the sleeve as well. So it's a two piece sleeve, but a bit different to a, well, quite a lot different to a, to a jacket sleeve. And you can see the, um, the raglan line running up into the back neck as well. So we're going to use this seam though to our advantage and we're going to, um, we're going to close, the, close it at the shoulder and open it up here to create lots of fullness going into the, um, into the cuff. And these are the darts, so the waist dart here, a side dart here, and we're going to put both of those darts up into the neckline, pivot them up into the neckline, and then turn them into, into this gatherer here as well. Mark, just while we're talking about that panel line on the, um, on the sleeve, yep. if they didn't want a seam there, although you're going to get rid of that seam anyway, aren't you, yeah. in this exercise, but um, the only way to not have a seam there for a fitted one is to just start it at the neck, isn't it? Yeah, so and if you, 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 if you want to get rid of this seam, you can do that, but you can't get rid of this and this as well yeah, yeah. what you can do is close this out because it's a straight line from the wrist up to the shoulder yeah. so you can close that out but then you're going to have a, a dart on the shoulder and i can show you on the pattern pieces in yeah. a minute too okay, thanks. just i know some students will yeah if, if you get rid of start. all of it you actually then have to end up with a sleeve like this yeah, or okay. all gathers going into the neckline yeah, as well yeah. So these are our two sleeve pieces here. Um, oh, a bit of a shadow. So this is half scale? So this is half scale. So we've got the full scale block here and I've just taken it down to half scale so that it's easier to see during construction. So, and really there's no, I'm not dealing with too many measurements here. So it should be, um, you know, it's not as if you then have to translate my half full scale measurements in a half scale because it's just, you know, it'll, it'll just be seam allowances really. So we've got here, we've got our front, our front sleeve, which is a single notch there, our back sleeve here. And you can see that when we put these two together, so when they're sewn together, they're sewn together here. And then you end up with this dart on the shoulder. And obviously, you know, they're sewn together as well. Um, and that's what gives you the shape going over the shoulder. But what we're, go we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of this seam here and we're going to get rid of the darting here and turn it into fullness. So all we need to do for that is we need to put our shoulder seams together, making sure that I've got enough room on the piece of paper. So then we trace out the front, front neck Oh, actually, this is a back neck, a back armhole. And then just make sure you have your balance notches on the back there. So I've traced out that. So I've traced the neckline, the armhole, the underarm, and across to the hem there. Okay, and so the there we've got on oh, the notch, yeah. yes. You're onto it, Libby. Notches. Yes, need these notches. Little helpers. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um so what we're doing here now, we're going to find just going to draw a, a line. So I've touched the grading ruler on this point here at the underarm and this point here at the underarm. 
and then just created just creating a line that goes across between them there and we're, all we're doing here is finding the center of the sleeve so this is 22 half scale yours will be 44 full scale so I've found 11 which is halfway between these two points here and then I'm going to use the grading wheel so this will actually be the grain of the sleeve and then we just want to find the length in the middle here because you know like we don't we don't if we take that down there then it's going to be very lumpy here so to find our length at this point here we can just sort of go around here using this length here because that's our original length And then what we need to do, we're just going to curve this around. I make that look so easy, Mark. <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> just have to practice for 30 years and you can do this too. Okay, so then I've just, I've just taken it around nice and simple there. So that, that means though that the length of the sleeve is going to be the same all the way around. And if you'll see here, this is on this one here, is the one that we've done so before it gets gathered up and you can see when you look at it from the side that it's actually longer at the back and shorter at the front so we want to do that and that's because you've got a hand at the front there that's coming out and you don't want all of this fullness sort of blousing out over your hand and you can see here too when it's gathered up into the yoke it's shorter at the front and longer at the back it just makes it a little bit easier to wear especially when you've got all of this fullness coming over your hand so what we're going to do is, this is the one I prepared earlier. Yep, so you can see here. So this is the pattern that I've actually used for the sleeve. So it's lower at the back and then higher at the front. And remember that the two, the two notches indicate the back of the sleeve and one notch for the front. So what we can do is between these two, because the center, you know, like the back of the sleeve is halfway between the underarm and the outer arm here. So we're going to find halfway um, for the back and halfway for the front. And what we want to do is we want to, going to do it, I'm going to come down two, actually, yeah, two and a half centimeters. Give it some extra length there. And I'm just going to come up uh, maybe two in the front. So that'll be in full scale, that's five centimeters and four centimeters for the front. And now we have to sort of connect the two there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, actually, maybe a bit more. We want the sides, the, sorry, the, the center of the sleeve to stay the same. So we're coming back up to this point here and you can see, you know, this is now in direct line for that four centimeter. So we're coming down at the back and then up at the front. So this will be our new, our new sleeve line. The good thing about, about doing it this way as well with such a full sleeve is that um, you're actually going to gather it. So you don't have to deal with tucks or anything like that. Actually, this looks a little bit odd here. I'm just going bump. to, a little bump, yeah. Just going to fix that up there. So just use your eye. You know, like you don't want to have any corners. You know, you don't want anything too jagged. You want, a, you know, a nice, a nice smooth line. And this one at the back here, this one goes up into the, to the underarm seam. And this one goes down. So when you sew these both together, and you can see here, um, when you sew them together at the underarm, you know, the back's coming up, the front's going down. So you get a nice flow through here um, for when you, um, when you put in the gathering thread there and gather it. And you'd have to do a cuff here as well. So the cuff could be, you know, just a wrist measurement. Um, you could put elastic in there. Um, so you can talk to somebody about how you might finish that. Um, if you're going to have a cuff and you want it to be a fitted cuff, you're going to have to have some sort of opening in the sleeve hem. So you'd probably do that at the back here. So you'd have a, like a little, 
you know, like a little split in the back. And then that's where, um, you know, it would open up because, you know, all of this is gathering into a cuff. So you need to open up the cuff to get it over your hand when you're wearing it again. Okay. Um, and our straight grain there. And so this is half scale, but on this, all of the seam allowances on this would be one centimeter. And this is your sleeve. What about that top neckline edge though? That, that would perhaps be six mil? Um, oh yes, yeah. yep. So one centimeter for the armholes, one centimeter, so one centimeter, yeah. one centimeter, one centimeter and six mil. Because that's actually part of the neckline. Yeah, that, you that is your here. neckline there, exactly. Yeah, that's this little right. bit from here to Before here. Um, so sleeve, cut one pair, um, size 10. And your name on there. Mm, okay, yes. so this is our finished pattern piece with the seam allowances on it. Because though this was just half scale, I actually did all of these at 0.6, and so it's 0.6 around the neck too. But yes, go for a one centimeter.